In this problem, we have to find the exact value of sine of negative pi over 8. So to do that, we'll use half number identities. So the half number identities for sine are sine of x over 2, and that's equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine x all over 2. The cosine 1 is really similar, except it has a plus sign here. By the way, when you're doing these problems, it's useful to think of it as sine of 1 half x. So whenever you see x over 2, you really want to think of it as 1 half x. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is figure out if we're going to use a plus or a minus uh, for this problem. So in order to do that, we have to figure out where x over 2 is. So this is our x over 2 here. So to figure out where that is, we can draw a little picture. So negative angles go backwards. So negative pi over 8 is down here. On the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. So in quadrant 4, the y-coordinate is negative. y is negative. That means that the sine function is negative, so we use the negative one. All right, let's do this. Solution. So we'll start by rewriting the original question. So sine of negative pi over 8. The next step is to write it as, to write negative pi over 8 as 1 half x. So this is sine of 1 half. And now we have to figure out what x is. So what could x possibly be, right? We need a number that when we multiply it by 1 half, it's going to give us negative pi over 8. So that number would be negative pi over 4. So that's our x, right? Our x here is negative pi over 4. And we said we're using the negative, so this is negative square root. And it's 1 minus cosine of negative pi over 4 all over 2. Now, the cosine of negative pi over 4 is just the square root of 2 over 2, right? Because negative pi over 4 is down here, and here's pi over 4. So the cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. So the cosine of negative pi over 4 will be the same, except it could be negative. However, on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate. So in quadrant 4, it's positive, so the answer is square root of 2 over 2. This is negative 1 minus square root of 2 over 2. It's all over 2. To simplify this, you can multiply by 2 over 2. This is equal to negative square root. Distribute the 2, so you get 2 times 1, so that's 2. And then 2 times this piece. The 2's cancel, so you get minus square root 2. And on the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. The last thing you can do is take the square root of each piece. Now, up top, you have a minus sign, so you can't do anything with that. You just leave it. And then on the bottom, we have the square root of 4, which is 2. So that would be the final answer.